I must get out of these wet clothes and into a dry martini. There are so many martini quotes. We're going to share some of them with you today. That particular one comes from Robert Benchley from the 1942 movie The Major and the Minor. Today on Go Island, we are celebrating International Martini Day. On today's show, On the Water with the Ladysmith Search and Rescue, and it's not the Tour de Rock or the Tour de France, it's the Tour de Coupe. That and much more in the next 30 minutes. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen. This is Carrie Powell-Davidson. She is a professional bartender, a bartending instructor, and a food and beverage writer. And today she is going to talk to us about the art of making martinis and the art of enjoying martinis and everything that comes with martinis. It is National Martini Day on June 19th and I think that's something that actually goes on in the United States but we'll just take that little detail and put it under the rug because we can celebrate martinis right here in Canada as well. Did you know that there's a marine rescue and search and rescue organization in Ladysmith? Well there is. Here's Derek Johnstone. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We had Carrie Powell Davidson on the show yesterday in conjunction or connection to Party on the Drive that's coming to uh, Resort Drive in Parksville on September the 8th. That's something entirely different though. Well, not really because I think Carrie has a bit of a party theme going on in her life. Today we are talking martinis. I've noticed that I guess it was about the mid 1990s that almost any drink that came in a glass that looked like that was called a martini. Absolutely. Well, you know, there seems to be a real resurgence of martinis every 20 years. They're, they're very tied into our past. Okay. But uh, yeah, those things that they came out with in the 90s, then again in the 70s, those were what I call the juicy martinis. They're fake martinis. They're actually made in the martini style. Okay, and then served maybe in the glass, the same in glass. In the martini with. glass. Okay, let's get into what is, we'll start with the classic. Yeah. What is a classic martini? Classic. For those of us that are purists, and I am amongst those, a martini, a real classic martini is gin, white vermouth, and I use bitters because that was the original recipe. Okay. And you garnish with olives, or if you don't like olives, you can use a lemon twist. Okay. Now, what about shaken, not stirred? Does the that... original martinis were stirred using the cocktail spoon. Okay. But then James Bond came along and he's shaken, not stirred, and frankly, I like it better. The goal of any martini is to get it as piercingly cold as possible and diluted just right. Does that mean you have to drink it fast before it warms up? I sure do. <laughs> and, okay, and let's get started. Let's make it. Okay. okay. And when you drink a martini is really important. These are before dinner drink, okay? Okay. They shouldn't, they don't, they're not good with food. So what we're going to do is we have, I keep all my supplies and my ingredients in the freezer, except okay. my vermouth and my bitters. So I have Gilby's gin, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are making martinis after all. It's Kinda my favorite. It without, uh... And this is my awesome two ounce jigger. You put two ounces of martinis into your shaker over ice, okay? okay. A martini has two ounces or more of alcohol. And they are pretty high alcohol content. Well, they're two ounces. General. They're two ounces. Whereas or the more. average cocktail's one? Yeah. Well, not anymore, no, really. I don't There's, think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually took a bartending course uh, back when I became legal age in Canada. I thought if I was going to have a hobby, I might as well uh, know what I was doing. And I took a bartending course. I'm just sad that it wasn't with you because you would have been. A spray? This is an what? atomizer. This is what I put my white vermouth in. And it makes sure I get just the right amount of vermouth each time so that I'm not, if you get too much vermouth, it's coming back. Uh, coming back, what does Ca that mean? The, the customer's bar. sending it back. And the vermouth, is that what makes it dry? The more vermouth, vermouth the drier the drink? It's the magic of the martini. But if you omit it, you're drinking straight gin. Who wants right. to drink straight gin? You're going to have a well, little... Well, a few people out there. But... <laughs> <laughs> I put a bit of the olive juice into my martini, and ah. that makes it what we call a dirty martini. Okay. okay, if you put a little bit of scotch in your glass, we call that a burnt martini. Okay, there, some of the, one of the things I learned in the bartending course is some of the subtleties are, are so um, subtle when it comes to bartending and naming drinks. For example, I was explaining earlier that uh, a rum and coke, if you add a lime, is a Cuba Libra. So even if you put an onion on there instead of an olive, it's a different drink, right? What's it called? G gimlet? 
Close. Gibson's? Gibson. Oh. Good for you. <laughs> Not to be com confused with Gibson's, which is a whiskey, a Canadian whiskey. Okay. Gibson is a martini garnished with. Okay. Now, I'm sure you're putting the olive in there first, very purposefully. You betcha, because I like to pour my martini over top. And the goal here, like I say, piercingly cold, so you see there's a little thin film of ice on top. That's ideal. The, the coldness actually makes the gin become um, syrupy in consistency. Okay. Okay. Yep. Oh. oh. I'll serve you. Thank you very Look much. Look at this. We better grab it before. I love it. I, oh, and it even <laughs> stops at the edge. Thank you very much. And cheers. We're going to have to sip. We're running out of time already. Classic gin martini. Ooh. Very nice. Well, while I enjoy this, we're going to send you over to Gabriola Island for uh, the Tour de Coupe. Here's Kelly Robinson. Fabulous. This is really good. Still ahead today on Go Island, a new bestseller from Roy Henry Vickers and Sangria Frappes in time for summer entertaining. That and more still to come today on Go. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're just getting ready for National Martini Day that is coming up on June 19th. Carrie Powell Davidson is putting together a lemon kiss martini, her own recipe, uh, inspired by Oprah, but yours is better than Oprah? Oh, yeah. Oh, what makes it better? Well, you're going to have to tune in to my new series, Party Books, and find out. Okay, Party Books from Carrie Powell Davidson. We're going to talk about that and those later on this edition of Go Island. In the meantime, Roy Henry Vickers is one of Canada's most celebrated First Nations artists, and he has a new book on the BC bestsellers list. It's called Raven Brings Light. Here's Suchetta Singh. Roy Henry Vickers will be at his gallery, the Eagle Airy Gallery in Tofino at the end of the month. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We are preparing ourselves for a very important date that's coming up on June 19th. It is National Martini Day. We're going to talk to Carrie Powell Davidson later on this edition of Go Island about a series of party books that she has coming out. And if you could smell this outdoor bar right now, oh you'd know why it's hard to call today work. We're going to throw things over now to Kate Hutchinson. The Classroom Energy Diet Challenge is now wrapping up after an amazing year, and we're going to travel to London, Ontario to re meet some of the grand prize-winning classrooms. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We are shaking up a lemon kiss martini. Uh, Carrie Powell Davidson's own secret recipe inspired by Oprah. We only have about a minute left, unfortunately. Derek John's still behind the camera today. This one's for you because she's got me hooked on the classics. But you've got some party books coming out. I sure do. I'm What's really that excited. All about? Well, that's a series of books with everything you need to throw a themed party. And it will have my own recipes, drinks, as well as food, okay. as well as recipes that I've collected along my journeys, decorating ideas, music suggestions, activities, original artwork, and food photography. It's, they're awesome. And I'm how so many excited. in the series? There's sort of a different... The parties are endless, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I believe that's true. <laughs> You've got one coming up for the Sanco de Mayo. That's already happened, though, hasn't it? It's a fiesta okay. party book, and that'll be our first one. It's getting launched online within any week now. Okay, so people any get week? them online? Yep. Where do you go? www.parksvillebeachparty.ca. Parksville Beach Party. Well, what's a party without a special drink? Let's Cheers. give that one to Derek. We will. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. There you Derek's reaching out. <laughs> there you go. You have that one. Uh, we're going to throw things over now to our island chef. Maybe gin isn't your thing. Here is a sangria frappe. Oh, oh, you caught me just finishing off my uh, dinner martini and lemon kiss. We started with the classic uh, aperitif, the classic martini. We're moving on to dessert now. Professional bartender Carrie Powell Davidson is making us a chocolate martini. I can't think of a better way to end this edition of Go Island. Carrie's party books are available online, parksvillebeachparty.ca, and they'll be there for you for download in the next uh, couple of weeks. Cheers, Carrie. Thank you. Fabulous. I love my job.